Speaking on rapid prototyping and jewelry, please give it up for Christopher Smalls. Okay, rapid prototyping is a series of technologies and techniques that use, utilize computer-aided design to rapidly produce models and three-dimensional objects. Originally, these techniques were used to make models in manufacturing for prototypes and mock-ups to test pieces visually. Now, artists like myself have been using this technology to make completed art jewelry and wearable art pieces. Tonight, I'll be focusing on an additive manufacturing process called selective laser centering, also known as SLS. Selective laser centering uses a high-powered laser to fuse ceramic, plastic, metal, and other particle-based objects. So it all starts in the CAD software, where you're able to model any object you like because you're working on multiple axes in three dimensions. After you've produced an object that you find successful, you send it all to the 3D printer, in this case, a selective laser centering machine, and it subdivides your piece into multiple separate layers. These layers are sent to the 3D printing machine, and in this case, the machine assigns the layers to a bed of nylon. Each bed of nylon is fused individually, and a separate sheet is laid on top of that, and so you have a completely centered piece. After your piece is com completed and cooled, it was removed from the machine in a block of uncentered material. This uncentered material serves as the support structure for overhanging objects and fine details. As you can see in this photo, the powder is loose and can be dusted and vacuumed. All the powder removed from this process can be recycled for further in other people's projects. As you can see in this series of photos, it's very much like an archaeological dig site where you're removing a fossil from the ground. In this case, you're removing your one-of-a-kind piece of art. As a designer, centered nylon is a very, very, very cool material because you can actually model solid pieces such as chains all in one piece. So there's no seams, which add to the durability of your products. You can also make Cooper's super cool bikinis, and I'm still waiting on somebody to come up with some super cool 3D printed hot pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a little treat for the ladies. <laughs> Say if you went home after work and you had a 3D printed shoe waiting for you. Go off to the work week, have your shoe waiting to be printed, and have wearable shoes after you got home. I think all the ladies might go and invest in the 3D printer now. <laughs> you can also use this later centering machine to make working mechanisms. As you can print this piece in a solid form, the spring mechanism and the joints are all included in your file. This can serve as a functional object, but also it can serve as a non-functional object, an avant-garde and contour jewelry, such as this piece that features moving gears. Laser Center Nylon also has very fine detail, but it can be contrasted in very bold forms. Even the scale of this piece on the left, I believe, <laughs> It's very light, it's a very light material, so it opens up opportunities for scale. One of my favorite qualities of laser center nylon is that it's a dyeable material, which is very beneficial to a designer who wants to make custom work for any customer. It is also a very flexible material. It can flex, and because the particles are fused together, they won't break because they're all bounded together in remember how they were fused. So you're probably wondering, how accessible are 3D printers? Like, should I just run over to Walmart and buy one? Well, no. <laughs> but now technology has advanced to the point where there are online service bureaus in which you can design something in CAD software, which there are very, there's a wide range of softwares. You send it off and they will actually mail you back your 3D printed 
peace in whatever material they have available. This aspect is very, very, very useful to small designers like myself who want limited run manufacturing. I implore all of you to explore this technology and go print something for yourselves. Thank you.